Gods Unchained is a tactical card game. It is completely free and offers players true ownership of every element of the game. This project is directed by the former director of Magic the Gathering, Chris Clay. In Gods Unchained, players own all of their digital items, giving them the freedom to trade, sell or use their cards as they see fit, much as if they owned real, tangible cards. In this game, every pack of cards users use, every battle they fight and every item they craft is built with the goal of being part of a sustainable, real-value economy. The items owned by users are configured to be more than just parts of the game, as we can exchange them with any user, even outside the game. Gods Unchained is a completely free collectible card game in which players can compete in epic duels using fantasy cards. To begin playing, players must strategically outweigh their opponents and build decks with the ability to combat a wide variety of tactics. In this game, players can have complete ownership of their digital elements. In this way, they are given the freedom to employ their properties in any way they see fit. A player enters the battlefield represented as the god he has selected to fight against another of his opponents or divine beings. The player's cards are the creatures and spells he will employ in the fight for the final victory. To win, he must reduce the opponent god's health to zero, while ensuring that his health does not reach zero during the fight. There are several types of cards in the game. These are relics, creatures, spells, among others. The relics are handled by the god we have chosen and offer the ability to go directly to the battlefield either receiving or causing pain in the process. Other cards of great importance are the creatures. These are fighter cards that are thrown directly into the fray. These cards have a physical representation on the battlefield and have a certain amount of strength and health. They usually also have some abilities and keywords that are implemented. Another type of cards that we can find are the spells. These are another tool that will help us during each battle. They are instant magical effects that immediately affect the field in some way. They have unlimited potential. Finally, we must know that the cards acquired in our deck are ERC721 tokens. Therefore, the value of each card can be extended beyond the game. Like all tokens, they are immutable, cannot be destroyed, and no two are alike. Gods Unchained has a native platform token used to perform in-game and out-of-game actions. As a result of this mechanism, we find a game capable of rewarding both developers and players, through functional relationships between the game and the player that were not possible before. As the main currency within the Gods Unchained platform, Gods is developed with the aim of enriching the play to earn cycle. It is also used to produce new NFT tokens. Other functions of this token include making in-game purchases and advocating user opinions through governance voting. God's coins will also be distributed as rewards to users through missions, matches and active bets. In this way, players are rewarded for betting their tokens and at the same time incentivized to play. Thanks for watching. See you in the next one.